meet Dr. Howard Tucker, a legend in the world of neurology who at the age of 101 is taking the internet by storm. And get this, he actually holds the Guinness World Record for being the oldest doctor still practicing. Born on July the 10th, 1922, he's been practicing medicine since way back in 1947 and amazingly doesn't seem to have plans of stopping anytime soon. It's incredible how he's managed to defy the hands of time and stay in tip-top shape for over a century. And the best part is, we're here to reveal all his secrets. How awesome is that? Alright folks, before we delve into Dr. Tucker's incredible secrets to longevity, here's something to ponder about enhancing your own life quality. Are you looking to add a natural zest to your romantic experiences? If you're seeking a boost in the bedroom without resorting to pharmaceuticals, we've got just the thing for you. Introducing a natural, scientifically backed solution from our sponsor, Joy Mode. This natural sexual performance enhancer is perfect for men seeking to improve blood flow and overall enjoyment without the need for prescriptions. I've used it and my wife has used it. We usually put a sachet of this stuff in a glass of water 45 minutes before a big date night and it works wonders. Joy Mode combines the power of L-citrulline, arginine nitrate, ginseng and vitamin C creating a potent formula that enhances blood flow and boosts sexual drive. It's more than just effective, it's delicious and can also double as an energizing pre-workout. And here's the best part, we're offering an exclusive 20% discount on your first order for all our listeners. Just visit usejoymode.com slash healthyover50 and use the code healthyover50 at checkout. Experience the joy of living fully and loving deeply, naturally. Now let's get back to Dr. Tucker's secret for longevity. This is what he said. As a 100-year-old, my patients often ask me for tips on how to stay healthy, happy and mentally sharp. The real secret to longevity is perspective. When I was young, 35 looked old and now 65 looks like a child. Good genes and a bit of luck can give you a head start but here are some lifestyle rules I have lived by over the past century. In this video, we'll delve deeper into Dr. Howard's rules of living a healthy life at such an age. Stick with us till the end as we continue to reveal his four secrets to longevity, three foods he eats daily, two things he avoids at all costs, his workout routine and his mindset for longevity. Before getting into it, we'd want to ask for a favor. If you find our content interesting, do hit the subscribe button to support our channel. Your support drives our creativity to keep coming up with great content. Thank you. Dr. Tucker's Four Secrets to Longevity Number 1. Delay Your Retirement While Gen Z is sharing hacks for early retirement on TikTok and YouTube, this centenarian is in no mood to shut shop. He's been working for 75 years and has no plans to quit anytime soon. During the pandemic, he treated patients for each day of the week. When the COVID-19 scare got out of hand, he took a break from tending to patients and teaching medical residents at St. Vincent's Charity Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Retirement remains the enemy of longevity. You read every day in the newspapers that someone retired six months ago and now he's dead. I just can't emphasize it enough that you stay happy, optimistic and interested in your work. If you retire from your job, think in terms of meaningful volunteering. That's acceptable because it maintains your interest and vitality. Number 2. Be active You know what else he swears by? A daily exercise regimen to keep himself active. With age and weakening bones, he has given up on most of his favorite activities, but he still works out daily without fail. Dr. Howard mentions that studies have shown that something as simple as a 15-minute walk can lower your risk of early death by almost 25%. Aside from getting up and going to work every day, Tucker also includes cardio exercises a few times a week. Number 3. Enjoy everything in moderation And guess what? Even Dr. Tucker enjoys cheat meals once in a while. The doctor follows an everything in moderation mindset. He reveals that while he stays away from processed foods and fried dishes on a daily basis, he and his wife love to have something sweet after dinner, mostly ice cream, which Tucker claims isn't that bad for you. 
However, he claims that they rarely consume baked items such as cakes or pies. I'll have a martini and a New York strip steak occasionally, but not every day. Rarely do we have cakes or pies, we just don't. Sometimes we eat another piece of fruit, sometimes we don't have anything. But we do cheat and take a little ice cream. I don't think that's so bad for you. His occasional indulgence in a small serving of ice cream reflects a sensible approach to satisfying sweet cravings, keeping the mood elevated without compromising overall health. Number 4. Having Loving Relationships Tucker puts his longevity mainly down to his enjoyment of work and his family. Apparently, that's a big key to living a long life. Tucker emphasizes the importance of curiosity, loving relationships, and maintaining a youthful perspective. Both his parents picked friends who were younger than they were, and he says that's something he has also chosen to do. As well as his younger friends, he also has a large family and says he fully enjoys spending quality family life. When I'm not working, I like spending time with my four children and ten grandchildren. I have good friends who are in their 70s and 80s and they keep me young. I actually think I'm going to live forever. I know it's not a reality, but I have no fear of dying. You live daily, but you die only once. Enjoy your family life if you're as lucky as I am. 3 Foods Dr. Tucker Eats for Longevity Now, when it comes to food, Dr. Tucker follows a Mediterranean-inspired diet which has long been regarded as the gold stand for healthy living. A diet emphasizes veggies, healthy fats like olive oil, lean protein, and complex carbs like whole grains. Research suggests that this eating plan can lower the risk of cardiovascular disease and enhance brain health. We'll now be breaking down the three foods Dr. Howard eats for longevity. Number 1. Seasonal Fruits Tucker and his wife have a refreshing start to their day with fresh fruits, picking whatever is in season. Tucker sets up the breakfast table for himself and his wife, usually cutting up fresh fruits and occasionally adding cereal. Our breakfast starts with a citrus in the winters and melon in the summers. I put breakfast on the table. So I cut up bananas, strawberries and blueberries. I like raspberries too, but my wife doesn't. I just keep them on the side and some milk and that's breakfast. This morning ritual provides him with essential vitamins, minerals and antioxidants to start the day on a positive note. Berries rich in antioxidants are known for their potential to support heart health and boost the immune system. This simple yet nutritious breakfast sets the tone for a day full of energy and vitality throughout the day. Number 2. Fish Seafood is usually on the menu for his dinner. Fish remains a prominent part of his diet, offering a valuable source of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s are renowned for their heart protective benefits, promoting cardiovascular health and reducing the risk of chronic diseases. For dinner, we eat fish and a lot of vegetables, including broccoli. Tucker also admits that he never was a strict vegetarian and he consumes meat occasionally in a balance. We do occasionally eat meat, that's no question. Some vegetarians think they prolong their life by being very strict. I don't think so, he says. Number 3. Green Veggies Dr. Tucker frequently opts for fresh green vegetables for dinner, including a lot of broccoli. Sarah is an excellent chef and she's helped me maintain a healthy and varied diet. We have a salad with every meal and enjoy greens like bok choy, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Dr. Tucker's preference for green vegetables adds a boost of fiber, vitamins and minerals to his meal. These cruciferous vegetables offer numerous health benefits including combating cancer cells. 2 Things Dr. Tucker Avoids for Longevity Number 1. Lunch An interesting thing Tucker has been doing for years is skipping lunch. According to him, this practice makes him feel more efficient and prevents him from getting drowsy at work. I usually skip lunch. If you skip lunch for enough days in a row, you're not hungry. You're more efficient, of course, you're not drowsy. According to him, the consensus around whether skipping meals is beneficial or not, particularly for seniors, is mixed. However, there is growing evidence that intermittent fasting can slow aging and reduce the risk of many diseases including cancer, diabetes and heart disease. Number 2. Smoking Dr. Tucker avoids smoking like the plague. According to him, it's a major no-no if you want to live a long and healthy life. He admits that he had the temptation to indulge in a cigarette or two as a teen. 
but as he understood the drawbacks of tobacco addiction, namely incurring the risk of cardiovascular diseases and lung cancers, the idea of seeking refuge in tobacco stopped being so tempting. The most important thing is no cigarettes. When I was in high school in the 1930s, I told my father that I wanted to take up smoking, to which he said, that's alright with me, but why would anyone want to put anything but fresh air into his lungs when life is short as it is? That immediately took the fun and excitement out of tobacco for me. He added, I remember attending medical meetings where doctors would, with a cigarette dangling from their mouths, tell patients to take up smoking because it would curb your appetite and quiet your nerves. Dr. Tucker's Workout Routine Dr. Tucker believes in the significance of regular physical activity for longevity is evident in the variety of outdoor activities that have been integrated to his routine. Talking about his exercise routine, this is what he said in a podcast. I continue to exercise even when it gets harder and harder for me. I do it. Swimming, jogging, hiking and skiing well into my late 80s have kept me strong and healthy. While I no longer ski and not quite as active as I once was, I try to get in at least 3 miles on my treadmill at a brisk pace most days of the week. I'd also like to go hiking again in the Alps where I was once, I don't know if that's wise. Here are some physical activities he does every day. Number 1. Treadmill Dr. Howard emphasizes that treadmill sessions not only contribute to calorie burning and weight management, but also promote bone density and joint flexibility. He said, I get on the treadmill for 2 to 3 miles 3 to 4 times a week. Number 2. Stationary Biking Whenever the treadmill seems boring, Tucker hops on the stationary bike, keeping things interesting. It's another low-impact exercise Dr. Tucker includes daily, which adds in strengthening leg muscles and improving cardiovascular endurance. Number 3. Jogging Aligning with Dr. Tucker's commitment to sustained physical fitness, he makes sure never to miss on jogging. Tucker explains that jogging is a classic form of aerobic exercise known for its numerous benefits. Regular jogging can improve cardiovascular fitness, aid in weight management, and boost mood by releasing endorphins. His commitment to jogging reflects a dedication to maintaining heart health and overall physical resilience. Number 4. Skiing Skiing used to be Dr. Howard's favorite sport, which he had to give up on after a severe accident. Despite this setback, his early routine of skiing did help him improve balance, strengthen core muscle, and enhance coordination. Despite his skiing accident in the 80s, Dr. Tucker's resilience and determination to stay active highlight the mental and physical fortitude that has been a constant throughout his life. Number 5. Snowshoeing Beyond the confines of his home gym, Dr. Tucker embraces the outdoors with activities like snowshoeing. This winter activity not only offers the benefits of exercise, but also allows Dr. Tucker to connect and enjoy the serenity of nature. Talking about it in a podcast recently, he said, Snowshoeing is a recreational pursuit that engages various muscle groups and provides an effective cardiovascular workout. Dr. Tucker's Mindset for Longevity Dr. Tucker has always emphasized the positive mindset above anything else to keep you healthy as you age. He says we should all let go of hatred, which causes tension and judgment of others because it ends up eating us up a lot more than it does them. He believes in valuing relationships and owning up to your mistakes, focusing the most on personal growth. I believe we'd live daily and die once, so we must make the most of the time we have. Stay happy and enjoy your work, reduce your tension. Tension also comes from hatred. It eats you up and the person that you hate. So put your hatred aside, don't be judgmental, and don't hate for generalized reasons. Happy life sounds like we need to be better at letting go of the emotional junk in our everyday life. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel if you find this information valuable. It drives our creativity. Also, be sure to check out our previous video about Dr. Peter Attila, one of the most famous longevity experts in the world.